Hi, this is Carl Stevens at MIT, and this is a car that's being developed here. Look at all those sensors and stuff. This is a car designed to drive itself. With me is MIT professor John Leonard as we stand next to this vehicle. John, what's the goal here? The goal here is to develop a, a car that can drive itself autonomously in urban environments, in traffic. Now we're going to take it for a spin through through East Cambridge a little bit, uh, but a driver is going to be driving. Correct. Yeah, we would never have the car drive itself autonomously on a public road. We can only operate on closed courses. <laughs> okay, we're about to start the car here. The car that allegedly can drive itself, or at least that's the hope. Start her up. He has started the car. The car that drives itself. He's pushing a computer. Can I get in? Yeah, okay, I got kind of long legs. I'm trying to get in here without touching this uh, multi-million dollar equipment here. The good news is there's nothing you can break here. So oh yeah, you haven't seen me with computers. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Where do you want to go, John? Just around the block. So just go left up here. Yeah, just go left and then and then come back on Mass Ave. Now, as we drive here in East Cambridge, you can see the different things that are appearing here on this scanner that are being picked up by the sensors. All the little trees that we're passing. See those trees? Looks like those are the yellow blips on the screen and here comes a car. And sure enough, that little flash of red was the car. There's some pedestrians. I think they're over there. But we're getting live updates here from these scanners on the outside of the car. The nice thing about this car is that it's fully legal and insured for a human to drive. It has it has a computer-driven mode and a, a manually controlled mode. It actually uses an interface originally developed for handicapped drivers uh, to, uh, to drive ordinary cars. And so we've had that system modified and enhanced to enable computer inputs. And we, we'd never set it loose on the streets of Cambridge. We only work on closed courses. As we pull up to an intersection here, here is some of the data. You can see people walking in front of us. There's that person right there. Here's that red blip on the screen. So the goal here is to win the DARPA challenge in the fall. So the DARPA challenge is a competition with uh, uh, currently 53 different teams, universities, companies, uh, uh, sort of hobbyists competing for a $2 million prize. Our goal so this miracle vehicle with its 10 computers, 40 processors, just might win $2 million bucks. This thing just might end up driving itself into the future. From MIT, Carl Stevens, WBC News Radio, 1030.